This is a training video on A Plus Accounting 9. A Plus Accounting can be downloaded from a large amount of different websites, one of them being resortsoftware.biz. If you go to a browser and then type in resortsoftware.biz, you should pull up this website. From there, I go to File Downloads and click on that. Then I will see this screen. At the top of the screen, I can see download A plus accounting. If you download it and then install it, you should see a launch icon with a globe on your desktop. If you launch that program, you should then see this program right here. The third option down from the top is a general ledger. General ledger can be seen as the backbone of accounting. Through general ledger, we can view summary information on accounts receivable, accounts payable, inventory, job costing, and payroll. Accounting is standardized, therefore, regardless of whether I'm speaking about A plus accounting or speaking about accounting principles in general, the information applies to both. The way that most accounting packages deal with general ledger is that any time transactions are completed, meaning any time an invoice is paid or an accounts payable check is posted or a payroll check is posted, then an entry gets posted to the general ledger. This can result in extremely large general ledger files which can slow down the program. With A plus accounting, there is a post to general ledger option towards the bottom, right here. And if I click on that, then click on yes. And then use the default date range from 1995 to 2195, meaning all of the data that's in the program. Then it'll go through accounts payable, accounts receivable inventory, job costing, and payroll and pull in all the pertinent information that we need in order to see the current state of our business. If I then go to edit chart of accounts towards the middle of this menu here, I can see the different information that the program pulled in from the various other modules in the program. For example, it went to accounts receivable and pulled in $750 from a special account with this account number. It went to inventory control and pulled in a total of $65,295 for inventory control, fairly large amount of fixed inventory, and a whole bunch of assorted expenses such as accounts payable, wages payable, Federal taxes payable, maintenance, salaries, etc. Edit chart of accounts shows us this information in grid format, and we can also edit information here. A similar way that we can view this information is to go to the trial balance report. This shows you the information in report format which can be printed with this print icon and we also have paging command buttons here see the exact type of information that we just saw in edit chart of accounts for both accounts payable and payroll the date paid fields automatically fill in when the checks are printed and you ask are asked, are the checks right and ready to be stored to the permanent check register? Doesn't make any sense to post information to general ledger if you're thinking about paying somebody and haven't quite paid them yet, as in an open check, or you haven't quite paid your employees yet. This information should only and is only posted to general ledger when these people are actually paid. Similarly, in accounts receivable, no information is posted over the general ledger unless you actually are paid by somebody. Inventory by comparison is 
assets that you actually do have on hand, so why not post that all the time? On the subject of payroll, wages expenses, FICA expenses, Medicare expenses, Social Security expenses, payroll taxes are automatically calculated for you when you do a close to general ledger. As with many chart of accounts in the world, A plus accounting has a five digit chart of accounts with the 10,000 account numbers being accounts receivable, the 20,000 accounts being accounts payable and liabilities. The 30,000 account numbers being equity and income, 5,000 accounts being cost of sales, and over 5,000 as is often the case with accounting are a whole lot of different types of expenses. You can go into edit chart of accounts and enter your own chart of accounts in here to your heart's content. There's a lot of different chart of accounts off on the web for you to mimic and possibly even copy directly if there's no copyright issues involved. As with the other parts of A plus accounting, there is a help command button here. If I click on the help command button, I then see a flowchart showing graphically everything I have been speaking about here. If I then click on this help icon after I have the flowchart up, it will pull up a online manual for A plus accounting. The standard reports that we support are a balance sheet, capital statement, chart of accounts, income statement, profit loss statement, and trial balance. One of the standardized things that general ledger programs almost always do is have a journal entry. So if you want to manually change something that you're not changing inside the grid. For example, you unexpectedly have some accounts receivable come in and you want to do a statement on it without running it directly through accounts receivable, then you can click on journal entry. If I go to journal entry, I could then click on the number one up here, add journal entry. I could then click on find. I could go for an accounts receivable, 11,000. I could add a total of $2,000. For the debit side, because it's accounts receivable, I want to add it to the debit side and not the credit side. The current date is automatically filled in, and then I could post to General Ledger. Am I sure? Yes. Now when I go back to the Edit Chart of Accounts, my accounts receivable has this $2,000 sitting there that I just added from Journal Entry. This is extremely standardized to accounting, and it is also in this accounting package. One of the other things that I think is interesting about General Ledger is budgeting. General Ledger shows you the current state of your business as far as how it actually does exist. Budgeting shows you how you want your business to be. If I was to click on budgeting and then click on edit budgeting, I would see a parallel chart of accounts with some other fields added in that shows me the state of how I want my business to be managed and to the right I see the state of how my business actually is. There's this $2,000 that I entered in from journal entry and I see 
that I have a budget of $20,000 for accounts receivable account number. Budgeting and forecasting and general ledger all play fairly well together. So download a copy and have fun.